Welcome back guys. In this video I just want to address a couple of issues I found when I exported the the whole game as we as it is so far and uh, there's two major problems even though they're very simple to fix I'll fix them in the video they're major I mean you can anyone can spot them when playing the game so the first one is to do by GUI box so as you can see when the GUI box is overlapping the solar farm it's twitching it's kind of the box is changing shape unnecessarily it's not so bad when we scroll over the uh, terrain itself not so bad there but you can really see it when we're scrolling over the box the select mesh or the solar farm it's not happening all the time but it's noticeable and you might think to yourself why is this happening because we've built so many layers in our game now we've got our select mesh our camera can rotate in any rotation it wants we've got the ray casts all these things can it can mess around with your script and it might be hard to find but luckily um, it's quite simple to fix just one line of code so and uh, the second error is uh, well I'm going to select this solar farm using my trigger object I'm going to deselect it and then start dragging again and I don't know if you guys saw that I'm going to do it again select deselect start dragging as you can see the select graphic um, flashed it might just be for one frame so it's really hard to spot but this is because the triggered units array list is not being cleared in time so when we let go of the mouse the triggered units is not cleared so when we start dragging again the triggered units will still be inside the array list so two big problems but easy to fix the first one I'm going to deal with is the triggered units so as you can see guys we've the triggered units are cleared only when the user is dragging and when there's a new trigger events taking place and it turns out that's too late to clear them in this case when we've let go of the mouse so instead of clearing them here I'm going to clear them no matter what we're doing if we're dragging or not dragging so we're going to clear them we could say if the new trigger event is true still um, then clear the trigger triggered units but um, clearing an, ar an array list in unity won't take up too much overhead we could say if there are triggered units then you can clear them but optimization stuff guys if you want to do that feel free you can say if drag mesh trigger triggered units count is greater than zero then you can go ahead and clear them I think I'll leave it like that actually it's quite nice and that will solve the error I mean I can test it in my scene view but I don't know if my screen recording software will pick up the flash so you're gonna to to take my word for it so selecting clicking out dragging yeah there's nothing there now so that that fixes the error and now for the ultimate error the GUI box flashing for no reason well it's all to do with the raycast with the update y method we call it pretty much every frame when the camera's updating its position based on the terrain um, heights and things and it turns out we haven't got a layer mask on this raycast as you can see we have a few raycasts raycasts in this script and every single one just interacts with the terrain it's terrain only terrain only every one apart from this one and uh, we want to change this so I'm going to put terrain only and now the heights won't be all like jagged it won't go from the terrain heights to the select mesh heights or whatever it will just stay consistent and the, the drag box GUI box shouldn't be flashing around anymore and uh, one line or one word can fix the massive error okay so let's save things out let's build it again build and run and I'm just gonna double check if everything's working because if we have errors in our game the more layers we build up the harder it will be to fix the error to find out what's really wrong okay so 800 times 600 let's play the game so the first one was the drag error so dragging clicking out yeah there's no flash there and the second one as you can see the GUI box is no longer uh, twitching or anything I can rotate my camera anywhere and select the unit and everything's fine so everything's really cool now and uh, yeah everything's working no matter which rotation we're in we can select deselect and everything else so um, if you've been following along from the start guys we're getting somewhere now we can select things and everything's working so thanks for watching the video in the next video we do some really cool stuff with the audio so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video